Good morning YouTube, here in front of the camera today we have a Sanimo Western S309.5 electricity meter. Uh, this is an X electricity meter board, um, it's come uh, out of service probably a couple of weeks ago. Um, you can follow how I've obtained this meter off of the electricity meter forum which I'll put the link below the bottom of this video. Um, what can I say about it? Well, it's um, quite clean, good clean condition. Still got the meter seals on here, which I will be keeping on. Um, it's a two rate meter, it's currently on the low rate. Uh, the meter readings are is the low rate is 136H3.0. The normal rate is 71454.5 coming up to. The load wheel interestingly has numbers on it. It's from 0 to 100. I don't know if I could get a, get in on there at all. No, too much. Let's put my hand there. there. You can just about see it there. This was last certificated in 09 of 1987 um, it's got another sticker here 90 I don't know what that means but anyway it's uh, 20 to 80 amps 240 volts AC 50 Hertz and it's a class 2 meter um, it's 166 two third rev revolutions per kilowatt hour um, single phase two wire with the Sanimo float on uh, magnets for the for the load wheel there. Uh, we've just got the load wheel just coming round again. It's got a yellow and a black mark on it. As you can see, it's coming round. So let's see if we could change the the rate for you. Let's put it back to normal. Just operating that off a, off a switch that I have here. So now we're on the normal rate. This would normally be done by a time switch, such as a Horseman VMK7 SRS. There's the black marker to show that it's back at the beginning. And it does show, it doesn't show a zero on there, but in a little while you'll see a 10. Right, let's go back to the low rate. There we go. Right, so let's uh, let's put a load on it. I'm using a one kilowatt uh, electric heater, so just bear with me while I switch that on. The small load was the electric light in in the shed here. Let's see if we get a there we go, it's gone round already. Let's see if we can see the numbers, there's the number ten. Let's see if we get a bit, a bit closer on that. Goes round quite quickly this one. I will not be taking the um, front cover off of this unfortunately because um, since it's got the seals on it, top and bottom, I prefer to keep it that way. Okay, so let's have a look in under the cover here. I have already loosened this so we can have a look. There we go fiddly doing this one single handedly but we get there in the end oh, there we go here we have under the contacts just move this out of the way 
Right, so it's any like any other normal wheat meter really. We've got uh, live in, neutral in, neutral out, and live out. And just here I've got the earth connected. Um, this extra wire here, this yellow wire, is the neutral feed to switch for the rate changer switch. So at the moment that just connects down to neutral. There we go. That's all I've got to say about this meter really. Any questions or comments, put them down below at the bottom of the video. Just worth a note that this one, or a meter very similar to this, has been filmed, um, which is at my mum's property. Um, it's exactly the same meter I really wanted to get her meter specifically, because um, hers will obviously be due for renewal um, very soon, because it's the same, certificated the same year as this meter here, and I believe even the same month as well. Hers on the normal rate has interestingly gone round the clock. Um, so please view my other videos for that one. Thanks for watching.